everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to share some of my findings on general underside administration. Uh, here we have some pages, uh, for example, site home. If you want to um, edit the home page, we need to go to site home and here we need to add um, the name of the site, short name for site, and if you like, you can add summary for your site. And it's interesting that you can, or you have this um, option to uh, to select the list of items that you like to display on the site home. For example, here, list of courses, announcements, categories, um, or even maximum category depths, maximum number of courses, uh, number of announcements. So you can you have this option to choose what you like or default site home role as guest, or also you have other options. So let's go back general for appearance. I'm going to click on appearance and here you can, for example, default dashboard page it shows um, um, dashboard page. So again, administration. Well, for example, manage tax. Here you can um, add tax. For example, if you um, add activity uh, or um, resources you can attack you can, uh, they can be tagged uh, and as you can see here we have tag collections and also it shows um, them here again go back to general language so you can uh, select the language H5P. Here you can um, manage H5P content types. So you can create interactive content. Just you need to choose file from here, or you can drag or drop files here. And here also you can see the list of um, the, the types of H5P content installed here. Again, for general batch. Um, to click on badges, manage badge. Here we have uh, a badge created by a teacher. Um, it shows the name and uh, criteria, recipients, and he can add a new badge. Or also, I can. Uh, edit this batch. For example, this batch doesn't have criteria. So I'm going to click on edit. And I'd like to add criteria to this batch. Here we have a name uh, for this batch, the language description, and the, the image. Uh, for this batch, but I'd like to add criteria. I have two options. I can click on add criteria here, or I can choose um, from this uh, list, edit details, or here, criteria. 
Then from here, I can add batch criteria. So choose a row of badges because we don't have any badges. So maybe profile completion. And for that, I need to choose first name, surname, email address, for example, country. Then I need to click on save. This batch is not available to users. I need to enable access. And then I need to confirm. Okay. So it has been added. So let's get back to the page and check. Uh, as you can see here, complete any of first name, surname, email address, and country. Let's get back to general and here competencies. Uh, you can you can um, import or export competency framework, um, or you can um, change. I mean, you can update the, um, the 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 old version of your framework, a competency framework, and just you need to go to migrate framework, and here. Um, you can add here the the old um uh, the old competence framework and here the new one even here you can add the course and if you don't like to um, include um, this specific course you can add it here um and I think that's all. Thank you so much for your attention.